for rocking right along with Friday Night Live, and it sure is. Here is a brilliant act who's really kicking up a storm right now all over London, all over the country. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, the superb Eddie Izzard! <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, comic Relief Day, a lot of people sponsor, a lot of blokes actually sponsored to wear dresses, but I'm uh, the real thing. I just happen to be a transvestite, but um, don't let that bother you. Um, uh, yes, well spotted. Good silent reaction. Well done. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, but actually, it's quite interesting being transvestite because the, um, the abbreviated homosexual is abbreviated to gay and transvestite is TV. And I came out seven years ago and I was phoning up people saying, I'm coming out of the closet, I'm a TV. Okay. Says he's a television, it's a very strange, strange person. And also this thing of coming out of the closet, don't come out of the closet. Um, come out of the lounge, it's much better. Because <laughs> you've got a sofa there, you've got a, um, a television, a bowl of fruit, and you can say, I'm coming out of the lounge, but in a bit, I just uh, catch Star Trek. And, uh, and then when you do come out of the lounge, put on some music really loud and it blares, and you can say, I'm coming out of the lounge with Wagner on. And it's very impressive, much more impressive that way, I feel. Or come out of the larder, that's quite good, because there's food in the larder. And uh, you can say, I'm coming out in a bit, I'll just finish off this sandwich. But being in a closet is completely crap. It's no good at all. You can try on hats. Uh, you can try on your dad's anorak. That's completely crap. You can hang yourself on a hook for a bit. That's completely crap. You can go up the back of the closet and find Narnia. And say, oh, that's very strange. <laughs> but I really want to talk today about something, a bit of a taboo subject, a bit of a taboo subject, uh, premenstrual syndrome. And people don't really, oh, yeah, people don't talk about it. And they should. This communication thing, no, and people don't like to communicate. And, um, and so in this case, you've also got periods and tampons in this area. And men, men know nothing of tampons. Men have not a clue. Men go, tampons? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry? Uh, <laughs> I've no idea. Well, you know, men know one or two things. They know they come in packs of 10, packs of 20, packs of 40, something like that. So they assume it's a cigarette thing. And women are going, having conversations like, oh, I'm up to 60 a day. Yeah, it's tragic. Yeah. <laughs> but extra low to, you know. And then there's the sizes, super, super duper, super ooper duper. Um, and mine's a large one. And, uh, and then there's the fact that uh, they expand. They're very small, but they expand. But men don't know how far they start. They go all the way, do go all the way up the body. And then women are going, oh, I'm going deaf in one ear. Yeah. This isn't known. But communication is great. I mean, like, AIDS came along, so we had to communicate. And so, uh, and that was great. Now, if we want condoms, we just go into any shop anywhere and say, I want condoms! Yes! 400 of the buggers, yes! <laughs> I feel lucky today. <laughs> and, and, oh, it's an antique shop. All oh, right. Um, well, 400 Geronimo's then, yes. <laughs> Mr. Fred Brewster, age 81. Cool bloke. But, um, yeah, and you can go into pubs and say, Landlord condoms for everyone. Oh, thanks, mate. I'll have a blue, one green, one strawberry for me. Um, I'll have one with ribs, one with barbecue sauce. Um, <laughs> one with sour cream and chives, one with a flake in it, you know. So it's great. No, it's much more relaxed and open. But it's difficult enough for women to talk about it, because in, in teenage years, uh, in pre in, with the uh, periods and tampons, women can cook communication. In teenage years, some girls go to their mum and say, Mum, mum, explain periods and tampons to me in a way that's relaxed and groovy and make me feel good about my body. And uh, mum's go, well, uh, well, tampons and periods, periods are the work of the devil! <laughs> um, no, sorry. Um, uh, right, uh, well, you know, once a month your body, mm-hmm, and um, your body's changing, and your body's changing, and um, I don't know, I don't live here. <laughs> Actually, I'm not your mother. <laughs> what, it's easier to disown me than explain periods. Oh, yes, yes. Because periods, they're way over the embarrassment factor, 9.8 on the Richter scale. So, yeah, so, um, and there's a whole, whole thing of discussion in, in premenstrual syndrome. Women, um, when they're discussing, uh, if you're having a discussion, men and women discussing about PMS, it's all very tense. It's that week before the period that's held, the week of the period, and three weeks after the period. Just those <laughs> 35 days in a monthly cycle. <laughs> and so discussions change, and, they, and uh, before the period, you're saying, do you remember to get that thing? No, I, I d didn't remember. Oh, no problem. And it changes during the period time. Did you remember to get that thing? No, I forgot. Oh. And it gets into hugely strangulated arguments, you know. And I just thought, this is negative energy, it's directed towards people you normally get on with, so if we communicated, we realised you could redirect this negative energy. And uh, there must be some people who women really don't like, so when it's that time of the month, just give them a ring, you know, phone them up, say, can you come over? And some person you don't like will come over and you say, I just fucking... And you can really... <laughs> you can really get it out of your system, you know. And that's great. And all you need is one big visual signal so that everyone knows it's that time of the month, you know. And I just thought, 
what you could do is the long string tampon. That's what I came up with. Instead of the short string, it's a long string tampon. It's got bells on the end of it. Tie, dye the piece of string. When it's that time of the month, you're around town. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> Gives off a very clear signal. A signal that says, if you'd like to have a discussion with me, I'm going to set fire to your testicles. <laughs> anyway, that's all for me. Thanks very much. Good luck. Who's out there? Superb stuff.